had the hard task of facing up. I going to be enough damage, so they didn't even go for it. TPs are canceled. They still have to play careful in this mid lane without the rotation. Spada is still They see the goal. Lion and the Ursa, though. They're still going to be able to run down Poppy this time around. The Sunstrike will land. A TP comes out from the Ursa, but it's obviously too late. That'll be first blood to Liquid. And so he'll go back to doing jungling. They just want to get it before Eternal Envy does. It limits the Ursa's offensive potential a lot. Because this hero does rely on being able to get a free Aegis. Now, if Liquid can actually get a pick off in the mid lane, they can actually transition this into an early Roshan. They're going to try and go for this dive. The Sun Strike will be oh, able to block Weeha, but the TPs are coming in. But Tumble Man's already popped the ultimate. Looks like they're going to go for Fadi here, but he can actually get saved by the Oracle. Oh, Some of that going to go down. Misery. Puppy, they're going to be able to turn for him. He's already thrown out that cold embrace. He'll be surrounded by the Wolves. Fada is the one victim there from Liquid who will end up going down. But Misery may still lose his life here. They're holding on to the snowball from Curl. It's going to be thrown out in second here to stall up Misery as best as possible. They have the eye shards to be able to block him in. And well, the medallion are going to be enough. He's going to be dying for this one. Healing South keeps him alive, and they do manage to get Misery. That is a one for four exchange, plus they got the tier one tower. A beautiful fight for Team Liquid. Exclusively around this Roshan pit, they know that the pace of the game really relies on them to be able to get this. And this is why they're predominantly playing here. Uh, the snowball coming in. He's on the wrong side of the eye shard too. Derek's going to come in from the side. He does have his ultimate, but he chooses not to use it on Kuro, especially since it's being controlled up by the Winter Wyvern. Now they're going to be able to come in with Mana, but is the damage actually going to be enough? A total enemy being saved up once again by the Winter Wyvern while Derek stays himself. The Dark for Weeha is dead, but the damage is too much. Weeha's going to be able to actually chase away the Lycan, and now Mana, he's in too deep against two, and there comes a pause. The exchange, but Secret are going to be pretty happy with that as their mid laner got a lot out of this. And Fada should oh, be dying now in silence. silence. The Rod of Atos is actually keeping Weeha from being able to chase him down, but Misery is still able to help get the kill. And the Wolves are on top of Wee, but immediately going to pop that wand, and he should be just fine. As the words being placed out by Liquid, but yeah. now Liquid managed to take oh. away. Oh, he breaks the smoke. They're going to know that now is for a sure. full reveal. Team Liquid will just sit on the high ground and wait for Secret to make their move. Secret have to be so upset on that one. He's out here, turns around, goes to the Hex, but immediately that's taken off by the Oracle. A nice two-man silence is actually going to pre prevent some aggression, but Highlight Eyes still going to die. The Wolves broke the Sun Strike. Liquid take a kill against Team Secret while committing no heroes whatsoever. And now they're actually going to go to the mic for the tumble match. Oh, what a win this race from Puppy! Turns that one right around against Jarek, trying to blow him up. The snowball comes up through. But tumble Man's still healthy, though, trying to stay ahead of Eternal Envy. Well, going for the summon, these Squisher heroes get a little bit too close, though. Eternal Envy starts nabbing onto him. Pearl, he's not going to be escaping. Oh, what a great eye charge, but still, he's locked inside the trees, only buying himself time, not actually saving his life. But as you said, Mind Control has pushed out the top lane. Oh, he's tier Puppy! Two. Tier three. He gets Puppy as well! Mind Control is going to look for the escape now against Highlight Eye, and he's going to turn and go for the Bible Ward. They're actually going to be able to shut down! Highlight Eye's down! Mind Control now They don't have the vacuum casually. anymore! Oh my god! The offlaner Team Liquid shows up big at the perfect time because Secret will... They the had to play like that. Had to have it. They're both going to go down. Secret, fortunately for them, they're going to be able to pick up this Roshan that they desperately needed, but... Liquid look like they want to try to make an attempt. But Weeha doesn't have, have the ghost. Health, though. That is so dangerous. They do have the disarm, but the silence on to Jarek. They now have Curl and oh, he's They're going to be able to kite around Eternal Levy. He's got nothing here. Jarek's on the bottom side. He's actually saved himself. They've taken away the Aegis while Weeha looks to be able to chase down Jarek. The ultimate wears out, but he's still not dead. Back over to Eternal Levy, where he's surrounded by three. He obviously has no hope. Team Liquid, they bait Diamond's Secret in. They win the fight. They'll take now. He's gonna, he's gonna be the one the taking the smoke, it looks like. Eternal Envy oh, smoke is out. I think they and see him. Jerex is trying to get back to the tier 2 tower. Puppy will be able to slow him down though. Jerex should be dying here. The silence controls him long enough. Maybe he can get off false promise, but no. It's just too fast. So Secret get that quick support kill. We'll turn it into a tier 1 tower. I don't think but they can. Liquid. Puppy's gotta tell his team, you guys have to get back here right now. They're going to start they're going to into the middle lane. They're going to pop a Tumba Man's ultimate to be able to make sure he has a clean escape, and Kuro's already one step ahead. And Puppy's ping top. He's saying, guys, we've got to deal with this Beastmaster. Yeah, Puppy's already dealing with it. He's dealing with it all right. He's actually end up going down to sack himself to keep some of that tier 3 tower damage alive. My control is going to be chased down by Weehan. Highlight died, though, so it's well worth the sacrifice of Puppy. Yeah, Liquid managed to pick up both the tier 2. Oh, God, the Courier! Oh, no! Tragedy strikes for Team Secret. So the split push game can begin. Oh. 
Jarek's, he's going to be run down here. He was trying to get an aggressive ward up, but now we should know that there's a ward of secret sitting there. The they're actually going to be able to pop Jarek's almost silenced up a little bit longer, and he won't be able to get off that false promise. Now the Winter's Curse laid out, but oh, that was a mistake. Only catching creeps. As Weeha hoping to be able to fight this one out, still pop the Ghost after just as a final roar, but still, there's enough magic damage to be able to threaten him. Now it's all he comes in, finally picking up that Blink Dagger and blows well, they up need to Weeha. They're going to be able to actually go for Weeha as soon as the Yule Scepter is down, but it may not be enough. The Deathwing Blast well, there's the Weeha. back in Liquid. They're just being run down now. My Control's going to be next one up. He's trying to go for the TP out, but damage is too much. And Turtle will be able to finish him off. Matumba Man gets the kill in the end with the Necronomicon against Weeha, but Secret very happy with that exchange. For the Octarine core, they know that last fight was godsend for them, but they need more. Unfortunately for them, a Lycan Wolf just spotted out this smoke, and Kuro knows it's coming. He's quick on the retreat, trying to stay ahead of Weeha, but he'll catch up eventually with the old Scepter. The rest of his team is sitting on the side. They've got the Paul's Promise ready to go. Kuro is not actually yet. He is going to be saved by the Paul's Promise, but now the Witcher's first of this. They are going to be able to blow my control. And now the ice ball laid out his beautiful position. Pylon dies almost immediately. Oh, back oh, oh, yes. Another save for Poppy. He has to deal with the wolves up now as he's being chopped away for but surely the TV will complete just in time. We have Necronomicons all over him, but it doesn't matter. Too liquid. Vada. Oh, this is dangerous. He actually wants to go for the Sun Strike. A little bit of soul suck and we'll they have the damage. The damage is in again. Eternal Envy finishes them off as Vada was playing. The chicken game there with Secret. But now, with both Weeha as well as Yersa alive, they can take Roshan number two. Everything secret needed to happen has happened. Strong enough uh, frontliner, and the mid wave is pushing in too. So Envy believes that he can get there in time. And he's immediately going to start TPing Matama Man. He might just walk into them. Surrounded in the middle lane. Matama Man, he needs to be able to get off this BKB and just in time. Or believe even problem. They had ultimate. They're going to turn. Who are they going for? Puppy is going to be identified as the first target. Oh, Wizard's going to go down. Wizard's going to be blown up by the Sun Strike. But Puppy, all the brains going to run out. Eventually, going to get to him. Wizard's first. A beautiful one. The bow's up. Kuro all by himself. A mid stop from Pylon Dive. And he gets off the finger of Death on Fada. They need to be able to control him. But the cold snap is actually stalling him. Matama Man with a nice charge. Kuro, he's making sure. Eternal Envy is going to be kited around in this fight. He still managed to get on the Jarek, still popping the arrange, and he will be able to catch up until they disarm. Snowball stun. Oh my god, he's Eternal Envy not going to get anything out of this first life. He isn't. Now, he's way too deep behind this tier 1 tower, underneath an ice wall immediately, he managed to get the blink forward. My control will be able to give them the vision though, once again, if Cold Snap comes through, Ice Shark walking out of Turtle Heavy, he knows he has to turn and fight for the Walrus Punch, he's making things difficult, where's the sun, did he not have one, it's so well, oh, there's a tornado, stopping a Turtle Heavy from escaping, and they will finish him off. Team Secret, they thought they had the advantage in that fight, but Team Liquid responded beautifully, blowing up Misery, while at the same time, Matumba Man, Ghost Scepters all around. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, uh, the Ghost can't hit you from DP. What, what about him? Stuff? Oh, he's actually going to go for Misery with a Sun Strike. They should have enough extra damage to be able to kill him. Now the question is, can my Control actually get out? He doesn't have a TP, so that seems unlikely. Eternal Envy gobbles him up. Yeah, there's no boar there either to slow him down. And he is going to lose all of his mana, but it's fine. So Kuro's walking around with that one now. Liquid immediately smoke up. They know with the ghost down, this is going to be one of their better opportunities to engage. Secret. The Octarine Core is on the Death Prophet, so it's going to be back up in 45 seconds. And they seconds. actually kill Weeha here. Puppy, he's coming in from the right-hand side. He goes up to find him some time, but it's having glass pulls him in here. It is enough to kill Weeha. The Winter's Curse comes in big on the Fada. It's Fada control. controlled by right night. He pulls up Jarek to make sure there's no false promise here, but Fada, he's actually getting away from this a little bit. Misery stops him. No, but Tornado, he buys him more time. Fada gets away, and my top of man turns against the Tunnel Envy. He's surrounded oh, by an army of Necronomicons. A long-range snowball. Kuro wants some more. He says, come in. Here, Poppy, but he can't quite stop him fully. The Ice Shards don't block him out, but Team Liquid win a fight right outside Secret Space, which is, which is the opportune time for them to push down to Tier 3 and see if they can force a buyback. I think he would be fine, but... Liquid, they are going to be hard-pressed to defend this one. As Vada throws out the Tornado, EMP scouting this out. Eternal Envy doesn't lose any of his mana. And he is actually going to commit the exorcism. My control is pushing out the top lane at the same time, though. Misery has to be careful with his defense. He's going to be jumped on by the final war. There is no sun strike this time around. Meanwhile, back inside the pit, they have picked up the Aegis. My control unable to finish off Misery, but starts threatening those racks, forcing mass TPs, which allows Liquid then to strike. They've actually controlled up Eternal Envy with a beautiful set of ice shards. They're going to purge him and just kite him around again. This could be, once again, Eternal Envy in too deep with his Aegis and dies twice in a row.
row. Yeah, Puppy's stuck on top of this cliff right now. There's nobody that can really help nice him. tornado timing. No opportunity for Eternal Emblem to be able to jump back with a Blink Dagger. Oh, he's They're just gonna get all their disciples. They've got the disarms. They take him out. Secret. That was beautifully set up by Team Liquid. They knew it's okay if they take Roshan, if we could just force mind control. Game is secret. They might just lose this first set of Ranger Axe right now as Liquid. They want to force out the buyback from the Ursa, but they have to be careful not to hard commit. As there is the Vacuum Winter's Curse combo available still. But uh, he's got the BKB, so he's going to stay on the front lines here. He pops it now as he pushes back. Weehan lays down the ice wall, making sure there is no immediate jump from Secret. Eternal Levy running into that one cost them their initiation. Yeah. Play it mid and top it every single time they go for a siege. There it goes, almost immediately, Eternal Envy is now in position. Now they jump in, actually a minute to lock down Puppy, but the turnaround from Pylon dies, the Lion King protects Puppy, but Sunstrike is not going to land due to a Force Staff. They managed to get the vacuum back in as well. Liquid, are they in too deep for this one? Eternal Envy pops the Agonist in rage, and he's actually taken up so much of this damage successfully. Oh, the Ice Shard man eventually runs down, they are able to get him. The Ice Shard blocking in Eternal Envy. Puppy, he's still floating around with this Ghost Staff. They're right back here from one. Control. They might be able to just finish up this fight with a big win over Secret as we have strapped in once again for the Ice Shard. Ice combination and they lock in Weeha into a tomb of ice. Liquid win the fight and take a second later Brax. They already commit the buyback from the Death Prophet, but they don't have the one on the one that matters. It's the Earth right more to the face from Puppy, but Tornado, Snowball, he's trying to draw attention. But is there actually going to be an appropriate response? Puppy's almost getting pushed into the victory. He has to pop the Ghost Step to be able to save himself from the Cold Snap. And it's Weehaw's going to be slowed down here by the Purifying Flames. Once again, locked in by the Ice Shards. He's going to be able to have the Exorcism, though. Liquid have forced that one. They just need to try and escape with minimal losses. Looks like they're going to give up on Jerex. As they pop out that full comet, still though, the Winter's Curse is controlling up on top of They need to be able to blow him up. Vacuum brings him back in, but that max movement speed is too much for them to handle. They can't catch up. And Secret do not get what they needed out of that fight. They forced the Exorcism, but all they got out of it What's Jerex's Oracle? Hey, you're in. I think if you're Team Secret, you just say, buy everything. It doesn't matter. Our, if our Ursa doesn't have buyback, it won't matter if uh, I have it. Oh, mind control. He's supposed to travel on to the Hawk. They have the Ice Shards blocking him in. The Sun Strike does land. And Coral has to wait out this Ghost Scepter. Now they actually have the Golden Breeze as well. Good turnaround here from Team Secret that might just get oh, the free pick up on Coral. Coral can't afford to lose this gem. They're actually going to be able to back him, put it back in. There goes the false promise. Coral turns around, goes for the Disable. But Tom Event here in force. Popping that ultimate as well as the BKB. But he's dodging this fight, not actually uh, attracting himself to any one person. Oh, and he's got so many on him. There's so many Necronauts. Because he pops the enraged and fight. He wants to be able to kill the melee net ones that are dishing out so much damage, and he is successful. Will be able to survive. The tier two. Usually it's just like okay, if you're only down one set of racks, you'll let it go and then you'll try to take the high ground fight. Right. But secret just can't afford. Yeah, they can't afford to lose a tier two. Is that would open up the bottom lane of racks. That was a BKB pop by Matumba man. The sun strike's not gonna land. Puppy actually expertly dodges it. And Liquid, are they really still going to go for this one? They blew their load. I'm not sure if they can actually stick around and fight. Bada has been controlled up. Highline died. Finished a snag. Curl. They managed to get the false promise out, though. And Curl will be able to TP back home until Yule Scepter stops him. And that, it will be the sacrificial lamb, it looks like, for Liquid. As they unsuccessfully tried to force that fight. They are pushing out the top lane, though. Quick... Quick thinking here from Bada as he knows he doesn't want to give the opening for Secret to be able to take Roshan with a numbers advantage. So instead, oh, he doesn't give him the no, 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 no. They get my control and he's down for 90 seconds. Team Secret, they should be able to hold while still getting this Roshan. If he was able to get the roar off, that should have been a puppy kill. And Pylai Dai might not have been able to hold this by himself, but instead, he's having a Bliss Bissel Blade on Matumba Man as well. But he obviously needs a lot more gold. He wants to be able to get that plus. Oh, they actually scattered out Pylite Die. Tornado, Cold Snap, Cold Snap will actually be there to be able to stall him up. Stop that TP out. And a free kill for Liquid. But is a little skittish to go uphill. But he shouldn't be as uh, he has a clear opening to be able to catch someone here. The Tornado is just barely going to clip Misery. But we do have the TP in from Eternal Envy. Secret may be able to fight this one. He's isolated out pretty far though. 
Yeah. They might be able to catch somebody out of this. A lot of notes, he's too separated. Meanwhile, the Oracle silenced up, and the Ghost Scepter is going to fade soon. He managed to get the disarm up on Eternal Levy. Pulse pops the false promise. Meanwhile, the right hand side, Isla Dai instantly gets taken out. The Winter's Curse controls the wolves, but that wolf dies immediately. Dumb and Matumba Man, the rest of the team, they're just going straight for the bottom lane. Oh my god, they want to be able to go straight for the Mega Priest. Well, Secrets outside of the base. They get the Primal Roar. Oh, they can get weak. They take this so fast. Oh my god, five the seconds for the Dragon. They managed to get the Tornado on the Misery. Mega Priest is up. Secret have to win this fight now, here and now, in order to beat back Liquid and go for a defense of their own. But it's not going to be the case, but Patamba Man, he just doesn't care. He pops the DKB, goes straight for some throws with Necronomicon. There it is, JG is the game. The series, rather, evens up one to one. Liquid say not today as they even up the series 1-1. They desperately needed this game to at least show that they could beat Secret. In the previous series, they had all...